Good evening, guys. Thank you for visiting ChristyGaskins.com. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for all the love and support that you've shown my website. I thank you for reading my blogs and my daily devotionals and for viewing my videos. And I hope that you're enjoying what you're seeing and reading so far. Um, today, I wanted to just discuss a little bit about depression. I just feel like um, in the wake of Robin Williams' uh, passing and, you know, so many others who've passed away this year, it's just been really heavy on my heart. And especially the topic of depression hits very close to home for me as I have a loved one who suffers from it. And I just, I just want to say that your life is worth it a lot. Your life is worth so much more than what you're going through. And this is not to negate your feelings. This is not to negate um, the seriousness of the illness of depression because I'm very aware of it all. But I, from someone who has a loved one who's depressed, would like them to know that I love you. I don't want you to go anywhere. You leaving would not make life any easier for me or anyone else who loves you. Your life has a purpose. It may not be realized at this very moment, but your life has a purpose. Do not dwell on what other people are doing or comparing yourself to the accomplishments of others, but dwell on what you have accomplished in life. Dwell on the fact that each new day you open your eyes is an opportunity to fulfill the purpose of your life. And it is not to take your life away. Do not allow yourself to be deceived by the enemy that will tell you that your life is worth nothing, that no one would miss you if you were gone, and that you should just end it today because that is not true. You will be missed. You will be mourned. And although the world will keep turning and, and people will keep living, it will not be the same without you. It won't be. So please don't allow yourself to be victimized by your depression, by your disease. Don't allow it to overtake you. Don't allow it to use you up and then spit you out and then think that you'll become some lost memory that no one will ever remember and no one will ever think about. You are worth so much more than that. Seek help. Find a spirit-based counselor or find a regular psychologist. Find someone to talk to, someone who who you can trust to bear your soul to, who won't judge you, who won't condemn you, but will help you, will pray for you, will listen to you, to, will give you advice and, and steps that you can take to bring yourself back up from whatever low point you may be feeling. But I just, I just, this is my video of pleading. Please do not take your life. Please do not take your life. I don't take this lightly at all. I feel like it's very serious. I feel like so many people this year have taken their lives away. I've had former classmates. I've had a former employee take his life. Robin Williams. You know, so many people suffer from the spirit of depression and some people hide it. You never know. They wear their smile so well. And it it's very disheartening. And, and it makes me sad to know that someone can get to that point in their lives where they just want to give up. And I'm getting a little emotional because it's just something that I've always wondered about and struggled with, you know, as far as people who are close to me and just seeing that in the world. I suffer from depression when I was younger and I've had moments where I thought life would be better without me. You know, people would be better without me. But that, that was something that, thank God, by the grace of God, I was able to overcome. And I feel as though you can too. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, what you're going through in life, you can overcome this. You can push through this. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is joy at the end of your sorrow. There is peace at the end of your turmoil. Push through. Please press forward. Speak words of affirmation to yourself each day. You are wise. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of joy. You are worthy of all the good that is coming to you. You are an amazing person and your purpose and your life will bless so many people. 
breathe life into yourself, speak life into yourself, experience the joy of the Lord. Do not allow yourself to be deceived because you do not deserve sorrow. You do not deserve depression. You do not deserve to die. You do not deserve any of the bad things that has happened to you. You do not deserve where you are now in this current low state. You don't deserve to be sad. You don't deserve to be condemned or punished. And you don't deserve to be treated like a burden or a leper because you are worth much more than that. And anyone who is making you feel less than, they are not worthy of your presence and you should leave. You should cut them off and move on with your life and surround yourself with more positive people who love you, who adore you, and who could edify you and lift you up into the person that you are supposed to be. You are royalty. There's an anointing and a blessing on your life. And I just urge you and I pray that you will claim it today. I pray and I bind that spirit of depression. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and I pray that whatever the enemy is trying to do to set you back, that the plans will fail in Jesus' name. I pray that you will succeed. I pray that you will rise above the ashes and that you will see the beauty that God has given you for all the sorrow that you have gone through. I pray that you will live a life of blessings and not curses. I pray that you will live a life of joy and not sorrow. I pray that you will live a life of abundance and not lack. I pray that you will be blessed in your going out and coming in. I pray that you will be healed from any sickness or disease. I pray that you will be healed from any heartache or emotional turmoil. I pray the best for you. And I pray that you see your life as, as worth the fight. Because I see your life as worth the fight. But what I say is not enough. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to believe that you are worth something. Because you are. And as long as there's breath in my body, I will pray for you. I will pray that the Holy Spirit and that God encourages you and shows you your worth and the glory that can come from your life and your purpose. Don't give up. Keep pressing on. You are worth so much more. I love you. And I hope to see you continuously. Until next time.